Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today I'm going to discuss further into improper integrals and now go over example five of the example series. And this one will go over basically this integral, which states find integral from two to five of uh, the function one divided by square root x minus two dx. And now the first thing to note from this uh, this function right here, basically note that this integral is improper because there is a vertical asymptote at x equals two. Because if you plug in x equals to two here, you get a two minus two, which is a zero, and you get a one divided by a zero, which goes to infinity. So this is a type two improper integral, like I went over my earlier video. And if you were to graph this, it would look something like this. So there's an asymptote at the two. Does that x equals to two? So it goes to infinity. And also here, as you go further x to the right side, as you get closer to five or, or beyond it, this just gets smaller and smaller because you're dividing by a big number here. So you're getting dividing by a bigger and bigger number. So it's something like this. That's how the function kind of looks like. This is y equals one over square root x minus two. And at here, let's just say this is where we have five. And the area we're trying to solve, well, the integral is, in this case, just the area under the curve between these two parts. And now we need to solve the integral and to see that if it diverges or converges, meaning if we get a finite area or an infinite area. So recall from my earlier video on definition of type two integrals, we could write this integral in, in such a way that we don't need to deal with this um, basically this vertical asymptote and write it as a limit. So integral from two to five of one over square root x minus two dx, this can equal two. Limit as t approaches two from the right side. So this plus means from the right side. So we're approaching it here, so we'll put a t value here. So let's just put, pick a number t and then we basically as a limit as this approaches two from the right side of now we just put the integral t, this is a five, not two, one over square root x minus two dx. And now we could continue just evaluating this definite integral now that doesn't have this uh, discontinuity. Now we're dealing with a variable t. So this one equals two, well, let's just make it easier to evaluate. And for me, the easiest way is to rewrite how this looks by putting this on top. So x minus two, power of negative one half. This just makes it easier to apply the integral of this one. So this is the power function. So what we do is becomes limit t, let's write this neater, t approaches two plus integral. I mean, now we, when we evaluate it, what happens here, this x minus two recall, we add, add one. So when we add one, that just becomes plus one over two, basically with negative one over two plus one, that's just two over two. This just becomes well one over two. So anyways, where we add one and then we divide by this power, so divide by one over two is the same as multiplying by two. So that's the integral. Let's remove this plus, just make it neater. And now we just evaluate it from t to five. And now when we evaluated this equals two, so limit as t approaches two plus, just put this like that, put the five in there, then this can be five minus two, which is three, three to the power one over two, that's just square root three. And then subtract it by, and I just took this two out there, subtract it by t, I'll just do a square root, t minus two, right here. Yeah, so this is the when you evaluate it. And as you can see here, as you plug this two from the right side, what happens? Well, the square root has to be greater than uh, or equal to zero. So as you pl uh, plug in from the right side and it's not, yeah, it's gonna be, well, approaching zero here. So this case here approaches zero from the right side. So it's a zero, I was right from zero, positive zero as opposed to negative 0 0.00 whatever, which you can't have. So this means that this exists and as a real number. So this is approaching zero as t is approaching two from the right side. If it was approaching from the left side, this would not be a real number. So that means this is going to zero and all we're left with now is just this two and the square root three. 
So this means that the area under the curve is approaching two, uh, or is basically equal to yeah, two times square root three. And we can basically write that down. So this area, uh, this red, red number, let's erase this, t. So this area is equal to two square root three. Yeah, and basically, yeah, that's the answer. And just another point, I just want to put it out. This is obvious. This converges to a number. So it converges, the limit converges means that the area or the limit exists and that this is, exists as a finite number and it's not infinity. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this quick example and thanks for watching. And again, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.